Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for April 15th, 2021. So yesterday we had a rather challenging price action day with the bulls. Well, let's take a look at an intraday chart of yesterday. Here's a 15 minute chart of yesterday. Notice we started off yesterday with a little bit of um, a bearish price action move. And then suddenly um, the futures were down in the morning. We had a little bit of a mix going on. And then suddenly we just had a massive surge, just a huge push to the upside. And then we just drifted sideways. We had noticed that we had a half hour of just push, push, push to hit new record highs in the Dow. And then we went into this drifting sideways choppy market. And then toward the end of the day, we sold almost all of it back off. As a matter of fact, um, some of the indexes left behind some concerning patterns overall. Let's take a look here at the chart. Now you can see yesterday we, we continued in our upside trend. There's no doubt about trend is up. The bulls are continuing to maintain control and the diamonds look very, very strong here overall. But we left behind a little bit of a concerning pattern with that shooting star after making new record highs and uh, started the pullback. But in common fashion of a news driven market, we are whipsawing again this morning in the overnight and pushing back up heading into new record highs. Currently the Dow futures are pointing to a 130 point gap up. Um, we were at one point 170 points gap up. So we're going to be all over the place. And I think that could be um, the complexity that we're going to have to deal with in this market. This is a very, very emotional market. And if you followed some of the news reports, there was a news report last week that more money has come into the U.S. markets in the last five months than the last 12 years combined. So what that means is there's a lot of new money in the market and likely a lot of new inexperienced money in the market. We should probably expect some really high volatility moves that are going to challenge us all as traders. So be really, really careful. But one thing I want to mention, um, I know a lot of folks are looking at these charts and saying, you know, folks that have been around the market for a long time, like myself, saying there's no logic to this. This is this is kind of insanity, the way we're chasing stocks and elevating these stock um, markets higher and higher and higher. But one of the things I want to warn you against is trying to fight that wave. We are, it's, it's a little bit like one person kind of standing there with a, um, you know, a trash can, um, trash can lid trying to shield yourself from a tidal wave. It's not going to happen. Um, institutions are suggesting that we, this could be the biggest growth, economic growth quarter that we have seen since 1984. That is a huge statement suggesting that everything is going to surge to the upside. And we are literally riding a tidal wave of deficit spending stimulus fueled market. And we have to be really, really careful. I know logic doesn't make a whole lot of sense in here when we continue to stretch and stretch and stretch. And I also know that this creates a very dangerous trading environment where the whipsaw could be extremely painful if we do trip or stumble at any one time. But I have to tell you guys, it's going to be really challenging to fight this move because there is just a frenzy of buying. And right now it doesn't seem like no price is too high for some of these um, some of these new traders that are just chasing stocks in a uh, in a rush to hurry up because we're going to miss out on this boom in the market that institutions just continue to promote and hype. So that said, let's take a look at these indexes and see what we can do. First off, again, diamonds very very bullish. And if we take a look at this, we have um, uh, this incredibly bullish uptrend that um, is running really, really strong and really, really hot. 
and um, we have some price support here in the down. Now this is the best chart that we have right now showing some logic, showing some structure here in the market. So if we were to pull back, that might be a painful move because it's going to be two or 300 points. Remember, these are big moves that could, could occur upside and downside all in the same day. So we're going to have to stay on our toes and be really carefully plan or really carefully plan our risk. Let's take a look at the spy. Here's where the problem really starts to come into play. SPY is virtually parabolic in this short term move to the upside. We are um, very, very stretched out, which creates an incredibly dangerous position if we were to happen to stumble. Notice we left behind a bearish engulfing candle yesterday, but we're going to gap right above that today in another overnight whipsaw. So what that means um, to me is we as traders are going to have to stick with our trades. We're going to have to stick with our plan. Micromanagement of plans is likely going to fail. You're going to chop yourself up in little teeny tiny bits in this market because I expect considerable volatility that is going to have to be addressed. So what that means is you may have to trade smaller than normal positions so that you can stay with trades. And I want to suggest avoid over trading and be careful with complacency. It's really easy to get sucked into this idea the market's never going to go down and then bam, one morning we wake up and the, and the ride is over and um, there's devastation in the market. Now, I'm not suggesting that's going to happen, but I'm telling you that's typically the situation in a market like this. So stay with the run, stay with the trend, try not to fight it, but be really, really careful not to overtrade or to become complacent. Let's take a look at, because our support levels are so low in here, we have, I mean, we could drop huge, just to contact some price support. And we're so far above our moving averages, um, it, it's really defying logic um, at the moment. So be really, really careful. And I think we can continue to defy logic. Remember that old phrase, I wrote it in the blog this morning, markets can stay irrational much longer than we can stay liquid. So kind of keep that in mind. If you fight this, um, it may be a losing battle. You're fighting a wave that is just absolutely massive. More money in the last five months than in the last 12 years combined. That is a tidal wave of funds coming into the market and they all seem to be bent on just buying something. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at uh, the QQQ. QQQ also extremely elevated in this move, leaving behind a very concerning bearish engulfing candle pattern yesterday. But notice we're whipsawing that back up here this morning. Now I can't say we, even though we're whipsawing it back up this morning, that we won't whipsaw again today. That we could uh, gap up and then completely reverse and come back down. But we're going to really have to be careful with our trading um, because of the dangers of these big moves that are possible. And um, so just watch yourself. Be careful not to over trade. Um, stay with this trend as long as this lasts. This, this party could last for several more months. Um, so um, stick with the party um, because you don't want to miss out on um, these potential moves and possible nice profits that could um, you could be rewarded for if you can hold through the volatility. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM um, had a nice day yesterday with energy stocks getting a big surge yesterday with the um, um, petroleum status numbers coming in sharply lower than expected. So we had a nice little surge, but there again, we gave a lot of that up. And once again, whipsaw during the day and now whipsaw overnight. We're going to gap up here this morning, continuing to push um, this market higher. IWM is the only one that has not achieved a new record high here recently. I suspect it could quickly catch up if the market continues to push to the upside like this. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now, this is where logic kind of runs um, out. Um, um, notice that we had the VIX um, rallying yesterday, um, even though we were setting new record highs. So 
we're going to have this volatility that we deal with. And I, I suspect this inexperienced money that's come into the market is going to create a very, very challenging environment for traders as we whip around. We probably could expect some very large price moves up and down intraday. Um, and we're going to have to really stay on our toes over that. As a matter of fact, it may actually be just the perfect environment for uh, very quick day traders, high frequency trading firms that are going to whipsaw this thing all over the place and chop up those, those brand new accounts. But watch that closely. We're going to have to be really, really careful. And it's going to be important to be a good, solid stock picker. We can't just throw money at the market. We're going to have to pick good, solid stocks with low risk entries if we're going to be successful, I think, in this market. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, T2122 early yesterday was stretched up here. We were almost up here to the top. We were stretched way up here. And then by the end of the day, we pulled that all the way back because of the whipsaw that we saw in the market. Now, keep in mind, we that pullback yesterday opened up upside opportunity. And this morning with this with the morning gap up, I suspect we're going to be right up here at or near um, um, the highs of T2122. We could be pressing right up there near 100 um, this morning. So watch that closely as those bulls continue to rush in. Now what that does success tell us is that we are at the point where we could get that stumble, that, that pullback that could occur, that next whipsaw that could chop us up in the market. So I want to suggest being really careful. You don't want to chase already extended stocks in a condition like this and just realize that if we do stumble, the, the hole to the downside is huge. Um, if we started to fall and tumble into that, it could be pretty ugly. But it's possible that if we get any kind of pullback, it's going to be more of a sideways consolidation. So watch that close. The, the wave is moving forward and institutions are hyping it to the extreme that this is going to be the biggest boom we've seen since 1984. Get on the party wagon and go. And with that kind of hype, I suspect we're going to continue to see these kind of wild pricing swings um, in the market and lots and lots of emotion. Let's take a look at our T2101. This one can still provides a lot of concern for me in that T2101 as we're setting new record highs. Look at that T2101 um, continuing to move lower suggesting that we have fewer and fewer stocks fueling this market higher. That that creates that uncertain condition, that um, whipsaw type market where we can get a surge in one area and then rip it all back out in another area. So be really, really careful. Um, again, don't overtrade this market. Um, it's one of those kind of markets where you can give up your money really, really fast in these whipsaws. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, today we have a big day on our economic calendar with a lot of things to be paying attention to this morning that could move us around. Um, despite the fact that we're showing lots and lots of bullishness right now, just keep in mind here in a little bit, we're gonna get jobless claims, we've got Philly Fed, we've got retail sales. Remember, retail sales have been slipping a little bit of re recently, and if they continue to slip, that could be a market problem. We could even see the futures whipsaw this morning if those come in on a negative uh, with a negative number. However, if they come in better than expected, um, that's just going to add fuel to this fire, and the buying frenzy is likely to continue. Um, keep in mind that we have industrial production. That is another market mover. Empire State. Uh, manufacturing can move us around from time to time, but unlikely business inventories, housing market index, and the petroleum or the uh, natural gas report. And then later on today, we have Treasury International and the Fed balance sheet, but nobody cares about the debt anymore as long as we keep the pedal to the metal 
um, at the Fed and keep the federal government continuing to print money um, like crazy. That's all that matters to fuel this market. So watch that closely. Um, keep in mind that tomorrow we've got housing starts and permits. That is a, one of those market movers as you plan forward. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. For, oh, hey, we better look at earnings here really quick. Um, on the earnings calendar, we have over 50 companies reporting earnings today. Um, and please keep in mind, guys, as we build into these earnings um, earnings season, um, you'll need to click that link um, just below the title of the video, and that'll take you back to the morning blog where I have a list of those notables reporting it will become too big of a list to cover in the morning um, and to, today is really one of those where I'm not going to be able to cover them all but let's take a look we have BAC Bank of America has already reported this morning and we're seeing a boost here in Bank of America a little bit of a whipsaw in the pre-market as you can see but a boost in Bank of America as they top estimates um, we are um, We've got a Citibank that's already reported. They're surging to the upside this morning. Last night we had PepsiCo report. PepsiCo uh, topped estimates, but you can see not getting, um, um, excuse me, this morning. Um, but they're not, um, they're not getting a whole lot of love here this morning after topping those estimates. We also have BlackRock, BlackRock reporting today. They're surging higher this morning, as you can see in that pre-market candle trying to lift up. And we have U.S. Bancorp that is reporting today. A little whipsaw in this going on as well. Pushed up early this morning, pulled back a little bit. But those big banks fueling some energy here to the upside. Um, we're also going to get some other sectors like Alcoa. Alcoa is um, reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. We're going to get reports from our, our first airline report. Um, DAL will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. We've got trucking. Uh, JB Hunt will be reporting today. Um, and we've got some pharmacy reporting today. Our, whoops, RAD RAD will be reporting today. So quite a few different sectors kicking up. Oh, I forgot UNH. Um, healthcare reporting today. Boy, that's really spiking up this morning. So lots of earnings reports to move the market around. A lot of emotion in this market. So keep a close eye on these reports. We have a bullish chart here and um, we're just trying to surge on higher as we top these estimates. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if you could click that subscribe button on youtube also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos and then also please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment if you believe these uh video this video was worthy i thank you so much for taking the time to do that it helps us continue to grow the channel i also want to just shout out um so uh, Huge, huge thank you to those that are, are supporting the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link that is below the title of the video. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. So let's take a look at some stocks. I'm running out of time here. I'm setting up and remember, these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, take a look at MT. Now, steel has um, been one of those areas that I've been watching pretty closely as we try to move forward with a um, infrastructure uh, bill. Um, we're starting to see um, some of that price action show up in some of those stocks. We've had a nice little run here. MT perked up yesterday. I actually bought this, so I have a little bias in it. And then it pulled back. But it's away from the trend, so I'm really not worried about it. We may have to continue to rest here just a little bit to get going. But MT looking good. We saw Steel Dynamics. Steel Dynamics um, perk up yesterday and then pull back as well. Just kind of hanging in there this morning. And U.S. Steel had a nice day yesterday and trying to follow through today with a little bit of upside. So keep an eye on those steel stocks and infrastructure plays. Along with steel, let's take a look at some of the metals like um, 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 FCX Copper. 
Copper really, really strong um, in a move yesterday, trying to follow through. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this just yet because we're a long ways away from a stop loss, but any rest or pullback in here would set up an opportunity. So take a look at FCX, um, SCCO um, might be a place where you can look um, for some moves um, in that copper um, as we start to perk up here in some of those metals. Um, let's take a look at some retail. Now retail is setting up here. Take a look at target. Target, nice little consolidation move, really tight move in here. And we're in that bullish upside uh, push. So as we slide over here toward the trend, every day we rest in here, this just gets better and better. Watch for that opportunity that this may pop out and go and follow along with the bullishness here in the market. Keep an eye on that. You might want to take a look at Post. Post um, is a old, boring company. Some of us probably ate Post Toasties years and years and years ago um, as our breakfast cereal. And as you can see, uh, Post is starting to pick up here and um, get moving. Nice little tight consolidation, running up in a trend, trying to break through some big resistance levels here in the past and showing some bullishness here, um, trying to push through. So keep an eye on post. You might want to take a look at DISH. DISH Network also very, very tight consolidation. It broke down through this support um, and then rallied back up, cracked it as resistance and holding it now as support in a consolidation. So look at that nice little hold in here. Bulls and bears kind of in agreement on price. We're just looking for that inspiration to get moving. And as we slide over here toward trend, that may be all we need to f finally see those bu uh, buyers really pick that up and push it to the upside. Take a look at Dish. Put that one on your list. I think it's looking pretty darn good. SWKS is another one of those in that tight little consolidation. Broke this wedge, this downtrend, broke back above a resistance area and we're holding it as support. Keep an eye on this. If this can garner a little bit of bullish energy, then that could perk on through and continue this trend to the upside. I think we have to keep an eye on stocks like Qualcomm. Although Qualcomm has pulled back here recently, it's going to report here soon. Um, I wouldn't be all surprised to see this pop and hold in here, but keep an eye on stocks like Qualcomm. Keep an eye on the healthcare sector, XLV, beautiful upside move going on here. Now, again, I wouldn't want to chase this and we're approaching or at that resistance high right here, as you can see. But any rest or pullback in here as we head into the earnings on healthcare sector stocks, this could continue to fuel higher. Um, keep an eye on that. Healthcare looking good. Um, I'm going to have to go to the financials again. Financials uh, perking up and with these bank earnings supplying some um, support in those earnings uh, beats, um, that's continuing to move higher. So you could drill down in the financial sector and probably find quite a few stocks looking very, very good and looking for some more upside moves. So very nice looking charts. I think um, we might want to stay with some of the more conservative stocks as well. Take a look at Pfizer. Pfizer has built this beautiful little bottoming pattern in here, breaking through some resistance. Now, I have to admit that I am biased on this because I own this position and have a very nice profit in the trade. But I like the fact that we shot up through that resistance and now no one wants to sell it. Notice how we're just kind of consolidating here and resting. As we slide out here toward this trend, watch for that next opportunity for that to pop on through and move to the upside. So there's a few stocks for you to pay attention to, a few things for you to watch. Hey, I want to wish everyone a fantastic day in your trading. Once again, I want to echo, be really, really careful not to over trade and be really, really careful not to chase. We're likely to see considerable volatility in this market in the days and weeks ahead. So be careful, plan your risk carefully. Don't just rush to risk. Make sure you have a good quality plan and a good quality setup for that trade. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. And we'll see you right back here bright and early on Friday. Have a good one.